हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर् नलोजु मनम वीडियो वन ट्वेंटी फाइव मलिपल चाइस क्वेश्चन गुरी तेजक वीडियो अने वन शाट वीडियो मोतम वीडियो प्रती चाप्टर नीचे ट्वेंटी फै क्वेश्चन उठाई मोस्ट इंपारटे क्वेश्चन अभी खचिता इपू सपोज एग्जापल रेप पालसी एग्जाम जो अलागे इपू टीएसआरजेसी एपीआरजेसी माला एमजेपी बीटीपीसी वार सैट प्रति एग्जाम की इद्ते चाल उपयोगपड़ी फ्रेंड्स ने रिक्वेस्टे चाल मंद वीडियो चूंर का सब्सक्रैबर्स एवरू राव सब्सक्रैब प्लीज़ फ्रेंड्स मैं ान सब्सक्रैबी इटंट एनो इंट्रेस्ट वीडियो अने मुक वस्ताई ना एक्सपनेशन अच्छे नचते लाइक् सब्सक्रैब मर्चिपक इंकोक चिक्वेस्टे वीडियो ने कंप्लीट चूँ फ्रेंड्स अब अर्थम इनके स्टार्ट अवर वीडियो फस्ट न्यूट्रिशन चाप्टर फस्ट पॉइंट आक्सीजन वाज डिस्कवर्ड बै प्रिश्ले इन सैवटी सेवेंटी फोर अं द नेम वाज कई बै लावैजर् आक्सीजन वाज डिस्कवर्ड बै जोसफ प्रिश्ले इन सैवटी सेवेंटी फोर बै बेलजार एक्सपरमेंट वी नो दट and the term oxygen was coined by lavoisier antony lavoisier in the year 1775 here we got three points next second point cb van nil in 1931 formulated the equation for photosynthesis cb van nil is equated the equation for the first time he only equated the equation Of photosynthesis, that is, six CO two plus twelve H two O light by chlorophyll give rise to six six H two O six. This equation by observing purple sulfur bacteria, purple sulfur bacteria experiment, he introduced this equation. Third point, the color of chlorophyll A is blue green in color. The color of chlorophyll A is blue green in color and chlorophyll B is yellow in yellow green in color. Chlorophyll B yellow green, chlorophyll A blue green, B yellow green. Pelletier and Cavendish extracted the chlorophyll, which is called chlorophyll. The meaning green color. Chlorophyll meaning. green color this chlorophyll is the extract of plants this pelletier and cavendish extracted this plant material substance and named this chlorophyll which means green substance or green color next fifth point maximum co2 fixation is done by phytoplankton the carbon dioxide in our nature is fixed by फैटो प्लांटन फैटो द टर्म फैटो रेफर्स टू द प्लांट द टर्म फैटो रेफर्स टू द प्लांट प्लांटन आर् प्लांटन आर् आलो ए टाइप आफ प्लांट बट दे आर् प्रसेंट इन अंडर वाटर नैक्स्ट जाजन हाउस जाजन हाउस इन सैवी सी नईन अबजर्व दट सज एसेयल फर् द रिज आफ आक्सीजन This is also known as hydrilla experiment. Hydrilla experiment done by John Ingen House. This is proved that without sunlight, there is no oxygen is released. This experiment proved that oxygen is released by absorbing sunlight in photosynthesis process. Next seventh, Kwashiorkor. Kwashiorkor, the protein deficiency. It is a deficiency disease. Some disease. This disease is the protein. When they, when our body lacks the protein, we will fall with Kwashiorkor, Kwashiorkor marasmus. Protein and calorie deficiency disease. Protein calorie deficiency disease marasmus. These diseases are examples for the malnutrition. Malnutrition. Mal means malnutrition. The term malnutrition says that. the without if we take nutrients in not our body requires some nutrients in some certain amount if we do not take the certain amount of nutrients 
then we we will fall into the deficiency the lack of nutrients is called malnutrition next eighth point cascuta dodder a leafless parasitic plant absorbs the food through hostoria cascuta reflexa cascuta reflexa a parasitic plant which is absorbs the food through hostoria hostoria the root like penetrations which penetrate into the host plant which penetrate into the host plant i of host plant this hostoria penetrates into the host plants xylem and phloem it draws the food from phloem and water and minerals from xylem and kills the entire plant hostoria hostoria plays a key role in absorbing food and water cascuta a cascuta reflex a parasitic plant next the correct if you observe this photosynthetic equation 6co2 plus 12h2o 6co2 plus 12h2o gives rise to c6h12 plus 6h2o plus 6o2 this balancing the equation next 10th point robert hill proved that o2 is released from water in photolysis robert hill scientist proved that oxygen is released from the water in photolysis the word photo means light the word photo means light lysis means breaking lysis means breaking this is for in whereas when the light falls on the water molecule this water molecule is splits into the oxygen and water is released this is also known as hills reaction hills reaction photolysis also known as hills reaction robert hill proved so that's why hills reaction next 11th point engelmann detected the point of maximum rate of photosynthesis Engelmann scientist is detected that the point of maximum rate of photosynthesis takes place he said that the maximum rate of photosynthesis takes place Engelmann is also he also done the experiment that oxygen o2 is released in the presence of sunlight o2 is released in the presence of sunlight by some algae he when if we observe this that uh, what we know that oxygen is released hydrilla experiment in hydrilla experiment there we use hydrilla but here we use engelmann used algae instead of hydrilla he used algae and shown that o2 is released he also done this experiment he credited two things next 12th one expansion RUBP ribulose 1H5 bisphosphate ribulose bisphosphate RUBP this is also very important question expansion next 13th light reaction takes place in what dark reaction occurs in dash light reaction takes place in grana we know that in chlorophyll light reaction takes place in grana this grana absorbs the light and dark reaction occurs in the stroma light reaction takes place in grana and dark reaction takes place in stroma next number of pigment molecules present in photosynthetic unit in each granum is 250 to 400 there are 250 to 400 pigment molecules which are present in photosynthetic unit in each granum because granum is responsible for the light reaction so that's why we need this pigments next photon is the smallest unit of light photon photon is the smallest unit of light next amoeba takes in food using amoeba takes the food in using the temporary projections called pseudo podia temporary finger like projections called pseudopodia this amoeba takes the food through pseudopodia pancreatic juice contains the enzymes like trypsin and lipase pancreatic juice which is 
pancreas which is released from pancreas which is released from pancreas these contains the trypsin and lipase trypsin and lipase trypsin acts on proteins whereas lipase acts on fats whereas lipase acts on fats these are the two enzymes released by pancreas this another uh, an advantage of pancreas pancreas is called pancreas is also called as mixed gland because it also releases or regulates the glucagon which regulates the glucose levels which decreases the glucose levels in blood this is also called mixed gland because it releases the hormone glucagon as well as enzymes like trypsin and lipase so it is called as mixed gland don't forget this is also one important point fats are digested by the bile juice which is released from liver which is secreted by liver this process the digestion of fats is called fat emulsification the process is also called as fats emulsification next water soluble vitamins are b complex and vitamin c water soluble vitamins are b complex and vitamin c we know that vitamins are classified into two types one is water soluble vitamins and the other is fat soluble vitamins what does it mean by vitamins vitamins means required in small quantities or micro micros quantities these are required in micro quantity so vitamins are classified into two types one is water soluble and another is fat soluble vitamins which are water soluble are vitamin b complex and vitamin c which is also called as ascorbic acid vitamin c which is called as ascorbic acid next fat soluble vitamins are a d e k fat soluble vitamins are a d e k vitamin b12 which is also known as cyanocobalamin is synthesized by the bacteria which is present in the intestine this is very important point vitamin b12 cyanocobalamin is synthesized by the bacteria present in the intestine next deficiency of vitamin b1 thiamine leads to the beriberi disease this deficiency of vitamin b1 leads to the thiamine this thiamine which is vitamin b1 general name thiamine is a a complex name this leads to the beriberi disease next deficiency of vitamin c ascorbic acid causes this scurvy disease deficiency of vitamin c ascorbic acid causes this scurvy disease scurvy means this uh, when some once these lips are some red stroish like structure this is called scurvy disease of this uh, vitamin c vitamin c ascorbic acid is immunity increaser deficiency also leads to the immunity power decreases if there is no ascorbic acid the deficiency of immunity deficiency will takes place rickets rickets occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin d calciferol vitamin d which is comes from sunlight which comes from sunlight this calciferol which is also known as calciferol vitamin d is this deficiency is rickets when there is the deficiency of vitamin d it leads to the rickets vitamin a retinol i diseases retina the word itself retinol retina vitamin a prevents the xerophthalmia and night blindness night blindness this is related to night blindness related to i so that's why if vitamin a is more there is no xerophthalmia and night blindness diseases fertility disorders occur due to the deficiency of vitamin e tocopherol fertility disorders fertility disorders like in human beings there is um, this fertility related to this <coughs> reproductions reproductive organs this fertility disorders are occurs in humans due to the deficiency of vitamin e tocopherol tocopherol next we completed first chapter next respiration 
ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी द बुक द बुक ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी वॉज रिटेन बाय जॉन डेपर द बुक ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी वॉज रिटेन बाय जॉन डेपर ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी द वर द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी द फिजियोलॉजी फंक्शनिंग दिस बुक इज रिटेन बाय जॉन डेपर नेक्स्ट द माइक्रोस्कोपिक एयर सेक्स प्रेजेंट इन द लंग्स आर कॉल्ड एलवियोलय माइक्रोस्कोपिक एयर सेक्स प्रेजेंट इन अवर लंग्स आर कॉल्ड एलवियोलय दिस रेस्परेशन टेक्स प्लेस विद इन द एलवियोलय एंड आवर सेल्स वेन ओ टू इज रिचेस थ्रू आवर लंग्स इट रिचेस द एलवियोलय एंड फ्रॉम एलवियोलय इट मूव्स इन टू द सेल्स this alveoli between the alveoli there takes place this respiration next pharynx is the common passage of digestive and respiratory system pharynx is the common passage for the digestive and respiratory system we will find vocal cords in the larynx larynx vocal cords larynx contains the our vocal cords <coughs> when we speak or when we speak or speech or sing when this our vocal cords vibrate when our air passes out this vocal cords vibrate in our larynx this vibration leads to the our speaking or singing next a flap like muscular valve controls the movement of air and food into the respective passages is called epiglottis epiglottis a flap like valve present at the pharynx and it guides the food into the digestive tract and the air into the <coughs> our lungs trachea this if epiglottis plays a key role in sending the materials into their specific parts so epiglottis is very important it is a flap like muscular valve that controls the movement of air and food into the respective passages lungs are protected by two layers called pleura lungs are protected by two layers of membrane this membrane is called pleura membrane pleura membrane gases exchange takes place within the lungs by the diffusion gases exchange takes place within the lungs by diffusion diffusion high concentration area to low concentration area high concentration area to low concentration area is called diffusion number of lobes present in the left lung of man are two there are two lobes present in the left lung of man and in right lung there are three in the left lung there are two lobes and in the right lung there are three lobes in human beings next normal shape of the diaphragm is dome shaped when there is no air passes when our lungs are in the relaxed position the normal shape of our diaphragm is dome shaped when the air when we breathe when we breathe when the air is rushes into our <coughs> do our diaphragm it becomes the flat shaped it becomes flat when there is no air in normal it is dome shaped when the air comes into our lungs it is in flat shaped diaphragm is in flat shaped next in males diaphragm plays an important role wherever in males diaphragm plays an important role but in females ribs plays a important role for the respiration in males diaphragm plays an important role in respiration whereas in females ribs plays an important role the total lung capacity of human beings is 5800 ml the total lung capacity the total lung capacity of our lungs is of human beings is 5800 ml it can store up to 5 liters of air in our lungs next iron ferrum is present in the hemoglobin whereas magnesium is present in the chlorophyll both are the respiratory whereas chlorophyll is present in plant and iron ferrum is present in humans this is the bonding iron ferrum is bonded to hemoglobin magnesium is bonded to chlorophyll in plants iron is in humans the
द एनर्जी करन्सी द एनर्जी करन्सी ए टी पी अडिनोसिन ट्रैपास्पेट इज स्टोर्ड इन मैटोकांड्रिया दट्स वै इट इज काल एज पवर हाउस आफ द से द एनर्जी करन्सी ए टी पी वाट इज द एनर्जी करन्सी द एनर्जी करन्सी आफ द से ए टी पी ए टी पी इज कंसिडर्ड एज एनर्जी करेन्सी आफ द से इट ईज स्टोर्ड दीज एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन द मैटोकांड्रिया सो दट्स वै इट इज नोन एज पवर हाउस आफ द से ईच दीज ईच ए टी पी मालिक्यूल गिव सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड कैलोरी आफ एनर्जी वेन दिस ए टी पी बॉंड ईज ब्रेकड सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड कैलोरी आफ एनर्जी ईज रिलीज इन अवर बॉडी so that's why respiration is a highly energized process or it releases more heat when we do some strenuous exercise we feel so much hot this 7200 calories of energy is released accumulation of lactic acid due to the strenuous work result in the muscular pain accumulation of lactic acid accumulation of lactic acid in our muscles leads to the muscular pain because we when we do strenuous exercise anaerobic respiration takes place in anaerobic respiration there is no presence of oxygen so our muscles perform the <coughs> anaerobic respiration in this formation there takes place the formation of lactic acid this results in the muscular pain muscular pain after if we take long breath and some rest this pain will be restored and we does not we feel some happiness or some coolness from this pain next production of ethanol during anaerobic respiration by yeast is called fermentation by this fermentation process some breads and cakes are produced by yeast this yeast is very responsible or very important for making some industrial products like beers and cakes other this production ethanol ethanol takes place during the anaerobic respiration which is performed by the yeast this process is called fermentation fermentation in prokaryotic cells respiration occurs within the cytoplasm prokaryotic cells without distinct nuclei is called prokaryotic cells this in prokaryotic cells in prokaryotic organisms the cells in their cells the respiration occurs within the cytoplasm next respiration through skin for example frog and earthworm performs the <coughs> skin respiration this uh, respiration through skin is called cutaneous respiration cutaneous respiration cutaneous respiration respiration through skin is called cutaneous respiration examples for cutaneous respiration is frog earthworm frog earthworm both performs the cutaneous respiration and the another point is frog performs the pulmonary respiration frog also performs the pulmonary respiration which is with the help of lungs it performs the two types of respiration it part it performs the three types of respiration bucco pharyngeal respiration bucco pharyngeal respiration also takes place in frog there is three types of respirations bucco pharyngeal bucco pharyngeal respiration pulmonary respiration pulmonary respiration and the skin cutaneous respiration three types of respirations are takes place in frog whereas in earthworm skin cutaneous respiration takes place fish respire through gills bronchial respiration this bronchia through bronchia gills in fish there is gills so it's why it is called bronchial respiration through gills is called bronchial respiration insects like cockroach and grasshopper respire through the tracheal respiratory system insects like cockroach and grasshopper respire through the tracheal respiratory system through the trachea in amoeba hydra and planarians respiration occurs through the diffusion there is no highly evolved respiratory system in the amoeba hydra and planarians there this diffusion through the simple process diffusion the gas exchange takes place mangrove trees respire through 
with their aerial roads mangrove trees mangrove trees in mangroves respire through the aerial roots aerial roots which is in the surface which send the roots outside and they respire which is also called as root hairs root hairs gas exchange takes place in plants through the stomata in leaves in, whereas in plants in leaves through stomata gas exchange takes place in stems lenticles in stem lenticles are present in stem there is some dot like structures called lenticles in leaf there is stomata in leaf there is stomata in stem there is lenticles next cellular respiration occurs in mitochondria where carbohydrates get oxidized cellular respiration occurs in the mitochondria where carbohydrates get oxidized where carbohydrates gets oxidized Celebra cellular respiration takes place in the mitochondria these carbohydrates are oxidized the term respiration is derived from the latin word respire which is the whole process of breathing respire respire meaning breathe respire meaning breathe the term respiration derived from the latin word respire next transportation third chapter in amoeba hydra materials are transported through in amoeba and hydra the materials are transported through the brownian movements brownian movements this brownian movements helps the transportation of food materials and other waste materials pulse rate in well trained athletes is 40 to 60 pulse rate in well trained athletes is 40 to 60 the pulse rate in newborn babies is 100 to 150 in newborn babies there is high pulse rate 100 to 150 pulse whereas in well trained athletes like runners there is 40 to 60 pulse rate stethoscope was discovered by ran lenek stethoscope was discovered by ran lenek in 1816 in the year 1816 stethoscope was discovered by ren lenek heart is covered by two layers of membranes called pericardial membranes heart is covered by two layers called pericardial pericardial membrane which protects the heart from shocks pericardial membranes protects the heart which is the two layers of membranes if they ask heart is covered by two layers of membranes called the answer is pericardial membrane coronary vessels supply blood to the muscles of heart coronary vessels are supplies the blood to the coronary muscles of the heart there is there is present coronary muscles in our heart there is presence there we see coronary muscles these coronary vessels these coronary vessels supply blood to the muscles of the heart that are coronary muscles this largest artery largest artery is iota largest artery is iota largest artery is iota which arises from the upper part of the left ventricle which arises from the upper part of left ventricle largest artery is iota which is up Applies the <coughs> blade. Giridano Fabrici. Giridano Fab Fabrici. Fabrici is observed the valves. Fabrici observed valves in the leg veins. In the leg veins. He observed the valves in leg veins. Fabrici. William Harvey described. William Harvey described about double circulation of blood. Double circulation of blood is described by Harvey. William Harvey. William Harvey described the double circulation of blood. Capillaries in the legs of bat observed by Marcello Malfigi in 1661. In the year 1661, Marcello Malfigi in the year 1661 marcillo malfigi observed the capillaries 
observe the capillaries in the legs of a bat in the legs of the bat and he called this he observed in the legs of bat hair like structures hair like structures in hair like structures in latin meaning the capillaries hair like structures called capillaries next cardiac cycle contraction and relaxation one cardiac cycle completes in 0.8 seconds one cardiac cycle one contraction and one relaxation of blood one contraction and one relaxation of the heart is completes in 0.8 seconds this is very important cardiac cycle next number of beats per minute in blue whale are seven in blue whale the heart beats seven times per minute seven times per minute in blue whale in blue whale in coyal teeth bird in coyal teeth bird it 1200 per times 1200 per minute it takes place 1200 per minute in coyal teeth bird which is very smallest bird coyal teeth bird next is swelling of the feet after overnight journey is called edema this is the edema condition when we travel in a bus or any uh, train or other another any flight when we travel overnight in sitting one place our legs get swelled when we see him at morning this stage is called edema because lymphatic fluid because lymphatic fluid is get stored in our lymph vessels lymphatic fluid is stored in our vessels this stage is called edema this stage is called edema stage because our legs get swollen our legs get feet get swollen due to lymphatic fluid transportation of materials happens through the gastrovascular cavity in snidarians like hydra jellyfish gastrovascular cavity with the help of gastrovascular cavity the transportation of materials takes place in the snidarians like hydra jellyfish next in nemati helminthes roundworms platy helminthes Nemati helminthes. This Nemati helminthes roundworms pseudopodium conducts the transportation of materials. Pseudopodium. Pseudopodium is responsible for the transportation of materials in Nemati helminthes, which is called roundworms. Which is called roundworms. In roundworms, this pseudopodium conducts the transportation of materials spigma manometer is used for measuring the blood pressure bp when you visit to the doctor the doctor will keep the spigma manometer and some belt to your hand and it will he will press something and say this is known as spigma manometer spigma manometer spigma manometer is the device which is used for measuring the bp blood pressure next normal blood pressure in healthy man is 120 by 80 120 per 80 systoles 120 per 80 120 systoles per diastole is the normal bp of an human being normal blood pressure next blood blood clotting takes place in three to six minutes blood clotting takes place in three to six minutes in human beings this delay in blood clotting this delay in blood clotting is called <coughs> hemophilia is called hemophilia this condition is called okay. hemophilia this is a genetic disorder next thrombokinase released by platelets plays an important role in blood coagulation thrombokinase is the substance which is released by the platelets in our blood which plays an important role in the coagulation of blood coagulation of blood this coagulation of blood <coughs> the straw yellowish color liquid portion after the formation of blood clot is serum the straw or yellowish yellowish color liquid yellowish color liquid after the formation of blood clot is serum 
serum yellowish colored vitamin k vitamin k helps in the coagulation of blood we know that without vitamin k the blood can't coagulate blood does not coagulate in the case of hemophilia hemophilia is a genetic disorder where the blood does not coagulate research factor rh factor was first observed or first discovered in the rhesus monkeys in rhesus monkeys this rhesus factor is discovered in rhesus monkeys next thalassemia may can be cured by bone marrow transplantation thalassemia is an inherited disorder inherited disorder this can be cured by bone marrow bone marrow by some replacing some blood cells replacing some red blood cells this uh, thalassemia can be cured next transportation transportation of sugars food in plants occurs to the phloem in plants we know that in plants the transportation of food occurs through the phloem phloem food is transported by phloem xylem water and minerals xylem is responsible for transporting water and minerals phloem is responsible for food evaporation of water through stomata of leaves is called transpiration evaporation of water through stomata through stomata in leaves is called transpiration next to fourth chapter excretion excretion nephrons are the functional and structural units of the kidneys without nephrons there is no filtration in kidneys so that's why nephrons are the structural and functional units of kidneys malfusion body consists of the bowman's capsule and glomerulus if you observe the malfusion body or the structure of nephron there will be present the malfusion body this malfusion body consists bowman's capsule and glomerulus bowman's capsule and glomerulus these glomerulus these glomerulus develops from afferent arteriole this glomerulus develops from afferent arteriole this afferent arteriole give rise to efferent this afferent arteriole give rise to efferent arteriole efferent arteriole next the squamous epithelial cells in the walls of bowman's capsule are called podocyte cells you know that the in bowman's capsule the bowman's capsule is lined by the squamous epithelial cells bowman's capsule is lined by the squamous epithelial cells these squamous epithelial cells of bowman's capsule are called are also called as podocyte cells these are also called as podocyte cells next u shaped renal tubule is called the loop of henle u shaped renal tubule u shaped renal tubule is called loop of henle filtrate from glomerulus is called primary urine some filtration is takes place in in loop of henle of glomerulus this is called primary urine this is called primary urine next concentration of urine depends upon the hormone vasopressin the hormone vasopressin the hormone vasopressin is responsible for the absorption of absorption of urine concentration next deficiency of vasopressin causes the diabetes in students excess and dilute urination some people can do excess amounts of urination or there is no concentrated urine there is only dilute urine because they lack the hormone vasopressin if there is no hormone deficiency of vasopressin hormone causes the excess and dilate ur- urination <coughs> this condition is called diabetes insipidus diabetes insipidus the maximum storage capacity of urinary bladder is 700 to 800 ml the urinary bladder this storage is 700 to 800 ml which stores the urine next total amount of urine excreted per day is 1.6 to 1.8 liters 1.6 to 1.8 liters of urine is excreted per day from human beings next amber color of urine is due to urochrome we know that our urine color is somewhat yellow we can't that it we, we don't say that it yellow it is amber this color is due to the urochrome this color is due to the 
urochrome a substance which is present in our urine kidney failure is called end stage renal disease esrd end stage renal disease this is the condition when a person's both kidneys are failed this is called esrd end stage renal disease next artificial filtration of blood using dialysis machine is called hemodialysis you know that uh, when there is a kidney failure patients in kidney failure patients the blood is filtered and the waste is excreted by the artificial filtration by using the machines dialysis machines this process is called hemodialysis hemodialysis this process is called hemodialysis accumulation of water and waste in the body of kidney failures is called uremia this condition is called uremia accumulation of waste and urine and waste water and other waste materials in the body of kidney failure patients is called the uremia condition next first kidney transplantation was held by dr charles afengel in 1954 in washington dc in washington dc dr charles afengel conducted the first kidney transplantation between two ch- twins in 1954 in washington dc america whereas in india in tamil nadu whereas in india tamil nadu 1974 or something is there in tamil nadu this in vellore at madras vellore tamil nadu at madras in india first kidney transplantation was done in tamil nadu tamil nadu next amoeba paramecium excretes the waste through contractile vacuole they excrete the waste through contractile vacuole in platyhelminthes and nematodes the excretion takes place through flame cells the excretion takes place through flame cells in arthropods excretion takes place through malpighian tubules in arthropods excretion takes place through malpighian tubules waste gets stored in fruits in the form of raphides we when we see the fruits there is the sticky substance in that fruit this is the waste materials of the food this is called raphides this is called raphides morphine is secreted by papaver somniferum which is called opium which is used as a painkiller opium opium this is a drug morphine reserpine ravolfia serpentina reserpine ravolfia serpentina is used as medicine for snake bites uh, quinine chinchona officinalis is an anti malarial drug nimbin is an nimbin which is called neem we nimbin which is neem as an antiseptic latex secreted by hevia brasiliensis is used to produce the rubber latex is used by the hevia brasiliensis is used to produce the rubber hevia brasiliensis the scientific name of rubber plant chewing gum is made from the latex of the chicken pollen grains of parthenium causes the allergy and asthma parthenium if you observe this uh, in our surroundings there is a green plants with sh- non sticky substances pollen grains like uh, they are in white color they are produced in large amounts this is called parthenium this uh, pollen grains this entry of this parthenium in body causes the allergy and the asthma next coordination the chapter coordination all the living organisms respond to stimuli all the living organisms are responds to stimuli there is stimuli when we beat uh, someone they will respond this is the response <coughs> stimuli beating stimuli responding seeing uh, or talking with us is response beating by as is stimuli stimuli when there is a stimuli in living beings there should be a response this is all the living organisms must do stimuli to 
where there is stimuli there should be a response the functional and structural unit of nervous system is neuron the functional and structural unit of the excretory system or excretory system is called nephron nephron is the <coughs> structural and functional unit of excretory system whereas the neuron is the structural and functional unit of nervous system interruptions of myelin sheath made up of nan cells this myelin sheath which is made up of nan cells are called node of renvier when we observe the structure of uh, neuron there will be this some there will be some interruptions there will be some interruptions like this this is called node of renvier which which is called as myelin sheath which is made up of nan cells this myelin sheath is also called a node of renvier which is made up of nan cells next a point of contact between two neurons is a synapse this between two neurons there is a junction between two neuron two neurons this junction is called this a gap junction this junction is called synapse where the information passes from one neuron to another neuron synapse is the very important this plays a key role in transforming the information from one neuron to another neuron this is the gap junction between two neurons this junction is called synapse next afferent neurons are also called as sensory neurons and efferent neurons called as motor nerves or motor neurons afferent neurons are called sensory neurons efferent neurons are called motor neurons or motor nerves brain our brain human brain is covered by three layers called meninges three layers of membrane human brain is covered by three layers of membranes called meninges meninges our brain our brain is covered by three layers of membrane called meninges our brain is present in a hard bony box like structure called cranium our brain is surrounded by hard bony box like structure called cranium in this cranium there are three layers of meninges three layers of membrane in there the brain is present next hypothalamus hypothalamus one part of our brain one part of our brain which controls the pituitary gland pituitary gland pituitary gland which is also known as master gland which is also known as master gland which is responsible for the secretion of hormones pituitary gland this can this is controlled by hypothalamus diencephalon diencephalon is the center of emotions diencephalon is responsible for emotions diencephalon is responsible for the emotions diencephalon is responsible for the emotions which is also use responsible for blood pressure temperature hungry and sleep hungry and sleep cerebrum maintains the posture equilibrium cerebrum maintains the posture and equilibrium cerebrum maintains the cerebrum cerebellum cerebellum maintains sorry cerebellum 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 maintains the posture body posture maintaining the equality maintaining the equality maintains the body posture and equilibrium and muscle tone it is responsible for all muscular activity cerebellum 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 it controls it controls it gives the signals next medulla oblongata medulla oblongata controls the cardiac respiratory and vasomotor activities cardiac respiratory and vasomotor activities medulla oblongata controls the cardiac cardiac means heart related to heart respiratory respiration this transportation respiration and vasomotor activities other some vasomotor activities this vasomotor activities are controlled by medulla oblongata in our body there is the 12 pairs of cranial nerves 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves 12 pairs of cranial nerves which originates from brain which originates from brain are called cranial nerves which originates from spinal cord which originates from spinal cord are called spinal nerves 
12 pairs of cranial nerves 31 pairs of spinal nerves are present in our body next the dian the dilation the dilation if you see some in when our if you see some uh, night time or when the lights is off the dilation our people or pupil eye pupil will increase eye people will increase when we see there is no light our dilation this power of accommodation will increase this dilation of people is influenced by the autonomous nervous system ans ans is responsible for the dilation of people dilation of pupil next this also regulates the adrenal gland adrenal gland adrenal gland which uh, releases the adrenaline hormone which releases the adrenaline hormone next isolates of langer hands isolates of langer hands insulin in pancreas pancreas which releases the insulin hormone this islets of langer hands were discovered by paul langer hands scientist langer hands scientist langer hands discovered the Isolates of Langer hands in the year 1868. In the year 1868, this uh, isolates of Langer hands, this insulin isolates of Langer hands. The word isolates, the word isolates mean island. The word isolates mean island. Isolates means island. The word isolates means island. This insulin hormone was discovered by paul langer hands in 1868 this paul langer hands is a german scientist paul langer hands is a german scientist in 1905 starling had coined the term hormone starling starling scientist starling english english britain scientist britain Starling had coined the term hormone. The term hormone was coined by the Starling. Starling in 1905. In the year 1905, the time the term hormone was coined by the Starling scientist. Next, adrenaline is also called as fight and flight hormone. Adrenaline, the hormone adrenaline is called fight, fight. Flight, flight, fright. This F3 hormone, F3 hormone is called adrenaline. Adrenaline is an F3 hormone. Fight, flight, fright. These three, these three actions are when there is an increase in adrenaline hormone. When in our body the secretion of adrenaline hormone takes place, this fight, fight, fright. In these conditions, the secretion of adrenaline hormone takes place. Next, thyroxine secreted by thyroid gland is responsible for the growth rate and metabolic activity. For the growth rate and metabolic activity, thyroxine hormone thyroxine is responsible for the growth and metabolic activity which is released by thyroid gland. Next, abscessic acid responsible for the closing of stomata. Abscessic acid is responsible for the abscessic acid. This phytohormone. Phyto means plant this is the plant hormone which is responsible for the closing of stomata and seed dormancy seed dormancy means coming a seed comes into a new seed becomes to a plant this is called a seed dormancy next auxins influence the auxins influence the cell elongation and differentiation of shoots and roots differentiation of shoots and roots should be <coughs> must done by the when there is an release and auxins this auxin influence the cell elongation and differentiation of shoots and roots this all are takes place by the auxins cytokinins promote the cell division opening of stomata and anti-aging of leaves when there is an aging in leaves these leaves we observe in cold se winter season these leaves will fall down from the tree this uh, aging due to aging this uh, falling of leaves is controlled by cytokinin cytokinin this cytokinin promotes the cell division in plants this cytokinin promotes the cell division in plants abscessic acid is responsible for closing of stomata 
whereas cytokinin is responsible for opening of stomata it is opposite to aging of leaves it does not uh, comes to the age of leaves it is it opposes the aging of leaves ripening of fruits is caused by ethylene ethylene phytohormone ethylene is responsible for the ripening of fruits next gibberellins promote the elongation of stems breaking of the seed dormancy gibberellins gibberellin gibberellin is responsible for the elongation of stems stems should be elongated it should be more increased in width and breadth next breaking of seed dormancy breaking of seed dormancy <coughs> in nineteen twenty six fw went 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 scientist went discovered auxins by agar agar experiment by using the substances agar by using the substances agar agar experiment f w went done this experiment by agar agar and he invented the hormone phytohormone auxin which is responsible for the cell elongation and differentiation of shoots and roots next the nastic movement of tachmina plant is called thigmonasty thigmonasty or thigmotropism 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 nastic movement of tachmina plant tachmina plant atipati the scientific name of this in telugu we call it as atipati chetu tachmina plant scientific name is mimosa mimosa pudika mimosa pudika this touch me not plant which is called thigmonasty if we touch if we touch the plant it closes its leaves if we touch the plant it closes its leaves this is called thigmonasty or thigmotropism by touching it gives when we touch it is stimuli when it gives this response this is called coordination thigmotropism this is movements this nastic movements are called thigmonasty or thigmotropism due to the chemotropism pollen tubes grow to reach oval chemotropism chemicals chemotropism chemicals this chemotropism in plants this is responsible for the pollen tubes grow to reach oval this pollen tubes should reach the oval for the pollination for the process of pollination they should reach the oval <coughs> the shoots of creepers bends towards the sunlight because of phototropism phototropism just uh, in the first lesson we said that photo means light tropism means movement the movement toward sunlight is called phototropism movements towards the sunlight is called phototropism geotropism 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 movement towards the earth so all plants are all roots are grows into the earth if this is earth this roots are grows like this into the earth this is this movement is called geotropism movement toward earth is called geotropism geo means earth next movement towards water hydrotropism 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 nastic movements towards the water is called hydro tropism this is much is the video enough this video useful i think this video is very useful if we if you follow this video definitely you will get uh, some questions i will give you sure confirm you will get questions from this video so please like share and subscribe this video please please thank you जय हिंद जय भारत